Well, an Israeli court has sentenced a Palestinian teenager to 12 years in prison after finding him guilty of attempted murder. Ahmed Manasra is 14 years old now. He attacked an Israeli schoolboy with a knife in occupied East Jerusalem. Manasra's cousin was shot dead during the incident. Well, for more on this, Greg Kallstrom joins us now from uh, Tel Aviv. Uh, Greg, let's actually start by giving some context in this new youth bill, which allows Israel to uh, jail minors. Um, just fill us in on that. Sure. This is a bill that was passed uh, earlier this year, back in August, by the Israeli parliament, the Knesset. Uh, Israel, for a long time, has sentenced Palestinian children, teenagers, to prison, but that only applied to Palestinians in the occupied territories, in the West Bank specifically, who were subject to Israeli military law. But in East Jerusalem, uh, Israeli civil law, civilian law, is applied. So uh, this bill that was passed earlier this year by the Knesset allows Israel to uh, impose the same penalties on teenagers who live in East Jerusalem. And this is one of the first times that this law was applied. This teenager who uh, was 13 years old when this attack took place, and as you mentioned, is now 14 uh, and being sentenced to a very long prison term. Okay, besides this new bill, I'm wondering about this sentence. Uh, this was one of the most high-profile attacks in this recent wave of attacks. Uh, do you think that because there was um, a compelling and sensational amount of video evidence in this attack, it played any role in this sentence? Because his sentence is almost just as much as his age. It is, and the, you're right, the high-profile nature of it certainly played a role. He was a teenager. His uh, accomplice who he carried this out with was a teenager. One of their victims, one of the people they stabbed, was 12 years old. So a, a shocking case all around. It got a lot of media attention. Uh, and of course, it also came at the beginning of this wave of violence that we've seen over the past year here. Uh, this happened in October of last year, when there were, at some point, two or three attacks a day. Uh, there was a great deal of, of attention amongst the Israeli public, the Israeli media. Uh, and the government uh, was a, at a bit of a loss for what to do about it and needed to act like uh, it was taking very tough measures. And so uh, handing down a, a long prison term in this case is one of the things that the government has done to try and uh, reassure the public that it's doing something. Okay, Kirk Carlstrom joining us live from Tel Aviv. Thank you.